Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. What you see is my new TV that I had just bought today. Here's why I bought a new TV. Unfortunately, the LED light strip burnt out. Um, when you turn on the TV and you can see your image, it's all lit up and all that, that's part of the backlit LED backlit. Now, when the LED lights go out, you can't see it unless you shine a light at it. I had the other TV for about four years. It's a smart TV. So is this one. Now, with this one, I get Netflix, Hulu, Kumo, CBS, iHeartRadio, Vudu, NBC, Watch Free, Redbox, uh, Fandango and more. It works with Apple AirPlay. Uh, it has a built-in Google Chromecast, YouTube, HBO Now, and 2,000 other apps. It works with Apple HomeKit, smart home devices, and works with Google Assistant. Now the Apple AirPlay, what that does is if on, I figured this out a couple years ago, if you have an Apple laptop and you have iTunes on it, and your iPhone has iTunes on it, this is when I discovered that I know iTunes is not being made anymore. You can use your iPhone as a remote for iTunes. So, anyway, without further ado, I am going to power it on. And this is called a smart cast, as you can see on film. This is the first boot. Even though I did turn it on just to test it before I hooked it up, I didn't let it go through this, so. Now, if you look down here, this is the serial number. This is the firmware version. This is the version of the Vizio cast. Uh, you know how on YouTube you see that you see this icon right up here you can crawl you can cast it so where I'm at is English so I'm going to push OK on the remote here now you have home use and store demo what store demo is is basically when you go into a store let's say like Target which is where I bought this from good store by the way they do this and it locks everything out. So that's why they have this, they use the same model. So I could set this up as a floor model. But since it's at my house, I am not going to do that. So I'm going to do home use, push OK again. Now, let's see how many. So the options here, you have USA, Mexico, and Canada. I am in the US, so I'm going to leave USA. Push OK again. Yes, I'm a gamer nut, that's why. My dad is a Beatles fan. This is something else. All of us is for where, where my room is. One part of the house is all of us, and the back part of the house is all of us too because I couldn't drill anything and set up a total network. So we're going to go to Super Mario World. And I'm going to enter the password. Alright, so I figured out my password and now I'm in. Now what you're seeing here, this is Linux. This TV has its own operating system. And if you can see down here, it has its own serial number. And now it's going to automatically update. 
uh, TV manufacturers like Windows and arcade game manufacturers have an update server. So this is downloading it from the update server. Sorry about that, I have my PS4 on. which means there's a lot of updates to go through. Now after the situation the US is in right now is over, a lot of the arcade games are going to take this much time to update because they've been off for so long. Now the ports on this TV are, I have two HDMI ports, which are both in use right now. I have one Ethernet port. This TV I could hook up to the network either wirelessly or hardline. One USB for firmware updates, plus I can make an exhaust fan to pull heat away from the TV if I wanted to. You have composites, and I have a TV tuner, and I have a digital optical, and I have a stereo audio. Now, this TV has composite. My other one had component, and a VGA out, uh, input. This TV does not have a VGA input. Nowadays, you don't need that, because you can get a uh, graphics card with an HDMI port, hook it up HDMI, and you're good to go. Now I did not plan on buying this TV at this time, but unfortunately the uh, other one died.
and once it gets updated, I'll go through everything. I'm trying to figure out, it's just a Vizio TV. It's the D series 32 inch smart TV. My other one was a 28 inch, which was perfect for that, but unfortunately, I couldn't get one, so I had to buy this one. So now it's going to restart. So I'm going to let it restart. Make sure there's proper air flow. I don't want to burn this thing up. There we go. I'm going to have to force it to restart. Ooh, it's not letting me. Oh, there it goes. It just took a little longer than I wanted it to. I'm used to the Windows way of things.
it's downloading other updates too. So who knows when this TV was manufactured? All right, so here we go. So the options are our family room, living room, master, bedroom, game room, basement, kitchen, office, guest room, dining room. Yes, there are some people who actually have TVs in their dining room, believe it or not. So we'll go back here. Okay, you have family room and living room. Um, in the US, some people have both, some people only have one. Now, if you have both, your family room is where your TV is, that's where you watch TV, and you do other things. In this case, your living room just has a couch and a few chairs. Now, some people only have a living room, which your TV's in, you have a couch, love seat, stuff like that. Master, bedroom, game room, basement, you know where that is. So it's gonna be in a bedroom. Now this is good uh, if I'm gonna know, uh, have it on a network and I can see where it is. Now, since I have my Roku, I don't need to set up local channels. So I'm going to skip that. So, you want to read the terms of service, which means don't don't do anything inappropriate, stuff like that. So what you do is you scroll down. Go back. Now, I know all these terms of service because I use a lot of these stuff. So I just accept all. If you don't, you should read it. Now there's a new law in California that you have to warn people if you're collecting data and you cannot collect data on uh, someone under a certain age. That's what, uh, that's how people get in trouble. So I'm going to click accept. I'm not going to register it because I don't feel like getting emails. Yeah, the color changed a little bit. Ooh, that was pretty.
So you have the inputs. So what do we have here? Old Sonic TV show. So here's the apps that this comes with. Netflix, Prime Video, uh, that's a Vizio, Hulu, Vudu, YouTube, Disney Plus, YouTube, iHeartRadio Zumo, which is uh, internet TV. Uh, that's something what's going on right now. Pandora, CBS, Pluto, Tubi, from Rice, Redbox has their own apps now. Fandango, that, Haystack, News, Flix, Flix Fling, I had to care how I said that, NBC, DAZN, Tidal, Venture Sports Network, A lot of apps. So let's see what all this has. So I can get movies from here. So we'll go back to the top here. Movies, watch free, extras learn. You have airplane, you have cast. Cast is Google's airplay. The airplay is Apple. So I'm going to go to input. All right, that's the game that I was playing. Now my Roku is turned off. It's got Power Saver on it. So if I get it out of standby, there we go. It goes to HDMI 1 automatically. So if we go to input, and it recognizes it's a Roku. So if you go to input, TV, SmartCast, AirPlay, it's automatically going to go to that. That was a TV show. I'm going to have to edit that out. So this is the default. And I can go change the name. Uh, let's go to extras. See what that is. We'll go to extras. Ooh, here we go. We have about. You can hook it up to Amazon Alexa, Apple AirPlay, Apple HomeKit, which is Apple Smart Home, Backdrop. You can set basically screensaver, customize App Pro, Google Assistant, another Smart Home, Watch and Learn, which what everybody says when they try to uh, own somebody, if you know what I mean. Learn. And it gives you instructions on how to set it up. Go back. Let's see if 
this TV comes with games. Cool. So it comes with everything but games installed. My other TV did. Fortunately, I can't back it up. So put them on here. So if we go to input. And there we go. So anyway, that's it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.